and welcome back guys uh, today I'm just going to show you a quick tip and trick video that I found with Mindimator um, I think it's something that will help with animating and connecting items to your characters so I'm just going to use a normal thing I'm not going to mess up my other animations so we'll start by adding two characters um, we'll give them a skin Let's go with villager and butcher. So now we're going to have to change him to an oscillate. Nope. Villager. There we go. And we're going to add Steve. So first of all, let's move our characters outside of the spawn zone. Mm -hmm. Let's move him over there. And we're actually going to take Steve, oh, we want the Z, I'm going to do something different with Steve, and now that I think about it, we're actually oh, going to need to make the villager a uh, person, so let's do that real quick. Skins, uh, notch, and human. Okay, so we got notch, we got Steve. So, in any um, film, you're gonna have probably some weapons, objects. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a quick tip to adding multiple swords or any other object to people's hands without having to manual keep move, manually keep moving them around. So we're going to use this option down here, lock to character, parent or object. Um, we're going to use character one, which is notch, uh, to his right arm. So it doesn't automatically go to his hand, which isn't a problem. We know how to change that around. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to bow it forward just a hair, and then we are going to bring them down. I need the Y, bring it, nope, forward, and up. I need one notch back. <laughs> no pun intended. Alright, Mr. Notch is holding our sword. So let's say we want him to dual wield things. It would take it would take more time than it needed to if I just um I'm actually going to name this object. So we don't get things confused. Sword right, meaning his right hand. Now I could add another object. Make it a sword and do that whole shenanigan again. Um but something very useful that I found out here is the duplicate button. So I'm going to have sword right selected. I'm going to click duplicate. Um, now when it duplicates, it puts it in the exact position that it's already in. So it's actually not showing up. So you may think, well, it didn't even spawn it, but it did. We need to go down here, make sure we have, we're gonna rename this. Or don't get them confused. And then we will go to left arm, voila. It's perfectly in place where it needs to be. And if I were to move, say, Notch's arms, that one sticks where it needs to be. And that one sticks where it needs to be. Totally independent from each other, but easy to move around. So let's say, well, you know, I've got my second character, Steve, here, and I want to give him some pickaxes. Um, but I I know I've already done this, so what I can do is I can, even though he's upside down and turned all around, we can duplicate this. We'll rename this pick left. Change the graphic to a diamond pickaxe. Change this to character two in his left arm, and what do you know? It's exactly in the position that we had the sword in, in his hand. We'll do the same thing with sword right, duplicate. Uh, let's go shovel right. 
And we'll give him a golden shovel. Change this to character 2. And there you go. Quick, easy way to add weapons. Um, so, I mean, if you've got tons and tons of characters in your animations and you're giving them all different weapons because it's a giant fight or whatever you want to do, giant mining fest, um, just add one object to one of your character's hands. Make sure you're locking it to him and duplicate it and switch it around to arms and characters and it's easy as pie. Um, saves you the time of adding all these things and trying to move them in multiple ways but since it's locked to their hands like we saw before um, no matter where I move this arm how I want to twist it it stays with it so it's just a quick tip or trick that I figured would be helpful to the uh, people trying to use Minimator. It'll save you a lot of time and effort. Um, it's just a quick rotate your thing 90 degrees, move it down, move it back a little bit into his hand, and you are good to go. So, yeah, that's the uh, tip and trick of the day. Figured I'd share that with you guys real quick, and uh, it should speed up your animating a lot. And as always, rate, subscribe, and thumbs up, and any questions or things in the comments as well. Happy to oblige any um, questions or requests that are in my power to fulfill. So yeah, have a, have a good one.